We saw an absolutely terrific take oh, on gem ESPN of a take. this week from just a brilliant observer of sports. Of course, I'm talking about Chris Mad Dog yep. Russo, who said boldly and correctly, mind you, that this year's Nuggets team was totally overrated. And that the 1986 so right. Celtics would sweep the Nuggets 4 row, no contest. And Tony, Mad Dog Russo is so right here, isn't he? Absolutely. This year's Nuggets team would stand no chance against the 86 Celtics. All you got to do is look at the number of Hall of Famers on each team. That's yep. the ultimate way to judge a team. The yep. 86 Celtics had six Hall of Famers. The Nuggets have none. That's a glaring difference. Such a great point there, Tony. And, you know, Thank another you. angle here that, you know, I can't, I can't believe the media, or maybe I can believe that the media is just too chicken to talk yep. about. You'll exactly. only hear it on this show, people. Doesn't anybody find it a little strange that hmm. in the span of a week, we've seen two athletes win major championships from a country that nobody's heard of? You got uh, Novak Djokovic, Serbian, yep. winning the, the French Open. Yep. Then you got uh, Nikola Jokic, also Serbian, Mm -hmm. winning the NBA Finals. And nobody in our business seems to bat an eye and find this weird. It's it's very disconcerting, isn't it, Tony? Very. You know, I don't get my information from the internet because I'm not dumb and gullible. I go to trusted sources like encyclopedias. I went to my most trusted world book encyclopedia that I've had for 30 years. And what's so strange is that there's no mention of a country called Serbia. But now everyone's talking about Serbia this and Serbia that. Isn't it just a little strange how this quote unquote country is so important all of a sudden? Just terrific perspective and research that, Tony. And you know, what I'm about to say is controversial. But, you know, it's our duty as journalists. It must be said. What about Chernobyl? You know, you had all that nuclear radiation spraying all over the place like 40 years ago or so. You look now at what's going on. All of a sudden, you got these monster athletes sprouting up everywhere in this country over there. You know, we've seen this before. Just look at the Incredible Hulk. The radiation transformed Bruce Banner and made him huge. You absolutely 100% have to consider that maybe all those gamma rays from Chernobyl got into their DNA and gave them super strength. You absolutely have to. Yeah. You know, this is what they call in the business, people, investigative journalism. We do real news on this show, unlike some other outlets. Hey, thank you. If it isn't someone I want to take out back and bludgeon. Oh, producer Jay, what do you want? What? Corrections. What? What? Hurry up. You said the 86 Celtics were better than this year's Nuggets because they had more Hall of Famers? Yeah, bro. Yeah, totally. But you do realize all those Celtics players weren't Hall of Famers when they were playing. So that argument is just plain idiotic. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I'd like to see you on a plane that crashes. Yeah. You're going to be like most players in the Hall of Fame. Dead. Yeah. Oh, good one, You're Tony. done. That's it. No more. No, We're done. No, no. You said Serbian athletes are so dominant because of the nuclear effects of Chernobyl. Yeah, bro. Crazy. Upsetting, but true. Yeah. If that even was true, nuclear radiation doesn't make you stronger. You, you only see that happen in comic books, not in real life. Oh, yeah. Well... You know what else you only see in comic books? Nerds like you. Yeah. And you know what's also not in real life? Your girlfriend. Yeah. He's done. That's it. Let's get out of here. We're done. By the way. What? You do realize why there is no such country called Serbia 30 years ago. It's mysterious, bro. Very mysterious. Serbia was part of Yugoslavia. Then it declared independence in 2006. But I I shouldn't be surprised that you don't know that, though. Oh, yeah, well, speaking of surprises, wait until you start your car tonight. Yeah, forget Yugoslavia. It's going to be Yugo Kabumi. Yeah, you're done. Great one, He's done. He said, look at him, Paulie. He's soaking. He said...